Hey, it's David Griffin with SCT Performance and Bully Dog. We're going to be showing you how to create a DLX file using LiveLink Gen 2. All right, with LiveLink open, we already have our config file created and open in LiveLink here. So to export the, the DLX to your device, we just simply need to go to the top of the screen there. There's a button. You can see it says export DLF slash DLX. So if we go up there and choose that, of course we need our device hooked up to our laptop. It tells you export DLX directly to device. So you have the option to put it directly on the device or to hit no and actually save it to your computer and email it to maybe your customer. So for this instance, we're gonna hit yes because we have the device with us. We're gonna name it. We're gonna name it GT350 because that's the vehicle we're in. And then we're going to choose export and that will export it to our device. You can see there it tells us it's successfully sent to the device. We're going to choose OK. So now that DLX is actually on our device. OK, so we have downloaded the DLX from our computer to the device. And now if we hook the device up to the vehicle, power it up, we're gonna go down on the main menu and choose gauges, data log, which is the second option. It's gonna tell you to turn the key on. So we'll go ahead and turn the key on and then page over and select configuration. So if we scroll down, it's usually at the bottom. You can see right there, there's our config file or our DLX that we put on to the device. It's named GT350. So we're gonna choose that. And then once we choose that, it's gonna bring up and log all the parameters we had in that config or that DLX. Simple as that.